Single Crystal 4 can be linked with Crystal Maker version 10.5 or later to allow you to synchronize the rotation of a diffraction pattern and its crystal structure, and also to have a live intensity mode where changes to the crystal structure directly affect a displayed diffraction pattern. We'll investigate both of these phenomena in this tutorial. I'm going to start off with a very simple crystal structure in Crystal Maker on the left and on the right I've set up a blank window in Single Crystal. Now I don't need to save the crystal structure and open it separately in Single Crystal. I can send that information directly from Crystal Maker to Single Crystal. We'll go to the Calculate menu in Crystal Maker, down to the Single Crystal sub-menu and we'll choose a New Pattern. And here is the corresponding diffraction pattern, simulated electron diffraction pattern for the crystal on the left. Now I want to link the two so I can rotate in real time and see the diffraction pattern change. And you'll see that as I rotate the crystal structure, the diffraction pattern rotates in single crystal. Similarly, if I rotate the diffraction pattern in single crystal, then the crystal structure rotates in Crystal Maker. Now let's set an explicit view direction down the C axis in Crystal Maker and let's see what happens if we make changes to the crystal structure. Now I'm going to go to the Calculate menu and I want to turn on Live Intensity Mode. Now this is disabled by default because for larger structures this can involve quite a lot of CPU time. So let's enable Live Intensities and now let's select one of the atoms in my crystal structure and let's see what happens as we move it from the center of the unit cell off center. And you can see as we start to move this systematically absent reflections start to appear and you can see the intensities are changing. Okay, let's move this back to the center. Note that you can use the inspector in Crystal Maker for a selection to edit the coordinates. So let's reset this to 0, 0, 0, or half in fractional coordinates. Okay, there we are. And now let's slowly move this through the structure see how the intensities change. Now we can have a bit of fun, we might want to change the site occupancy of this from silicon maybe to something a little bit heavier. Let's go to um, uranium and now we've got a much more intense reflections and we could do the same thing for other parts of the structure. So that's a quick look at live intensity mode and live rotation mode linking Crystal Maker 10.5 or later and Single Crystal 10.4.